So today I decided to do a mini tour of my sunroom garden um, before I kind of move things around. So it is my first year in this house and um, I'm really happy about this room just because it's like a little space that I get to use for my plants um, or at least growing my seedlings as I was or I have been. So without further ado, this is what the sunroom garden looks like from a high level. <laughs> um, yeah. And I also have some plants over there. So much stuff everywhere. I have a whole bunch of things growing uh, this year that I am trying out. Um, this year is an experimental year for me because, like I said, it's our first year in the house and I'm also pregnant so I'm not really fully mobile if it makes sense. So I kind of am looking at it as like a year of just seeing what kind of stuff I want to be growing. Um, I grew a bunch of stuff at our old place. Uh, which was a condo and so I had like a little balcony garden or two container garden well just a small little bar balcony garden and I really enjoyed it last summer so I want to kind of move on from that or grow from that using grow bags because our backyard is really big but then it needs a lot of work and like I said I can't work the yard this year I'll quickly just show you what it looks like. I won't go into what's going on out there right now, but this is what we're dealing with. And we also have space at the back there as well. My hope this year, sorry, I got distracted by a leaf. Um, my hope this year is to kind of maintain a container garden and or a grow bag garden really and see how it, it works out. Um, it might actually end up being a big part of how we grow things in the future so that we don't end up turning the entire yard into a, a garden. Maybe I'll start with some of the seedlings. I have some seedlings growing here. I'm not really sure what this is. Oh, that's a sunflower. I didn't even realize that I put two sunflowers here. So I guess these two are sunflowers, but um, everything else these are sweet pea plants they're like a trailing plant and I feel like I want to do more for the front this is some bolted cilantro and some dill I think that's sage and this is probably basil and then that's eggplant fairy eggplant that I started I'm not sure what this is oh this is strawberry okay I had forgotten about that and this is echinacea so I only have one little echinacea plant that worked out yeah and this is rosemary and then this is sweet basil and then this is a tiny little I don't know if this is gonna actually work out but it's a brugmansia it's one of those trumpet plants and yeah, the dill. Anyways, some of these herbs are not going to work out because the season has already passed for them to thrive. But that's what we're dealing with, with seedlings. Or not seedlings, sorry, like little, little seeds, I guess, is what I meant by seedlings. And then in here, surprisingly, this is actually, the lupin mix is actually germinating well in the since I put it in the sunroom so initially I just had just that one little plant but then these have come up in the last couple of days so that's kind of cool and then some watermelon so the Klondike have worked out okay but then the none of the tender sweet have germinated at all and then on this side I have some crimson watermelon that seems to be doing okay so two out of oh no there's one that's coming up there as well and then I have some mini cucamelons over here and then some peppers lots of tomatoes some have worked out some aren't even you know thriving I do feel that since moving 
my uh, tomato I mean since moving any of my kids into this room they've been doing pretty good so I think because of the humidity and the heat and I don't know this room seems to be really great for for my plants this season compared to let's say um, when I keep them inside the house which I don't really have I do have a grow light or two grow lights that aren't like super amazing but most of my early seeds like my tomato uh, seeds I started them as a window seal type of situation but they were super slow starting whereas if I when I moved them in here they seem to be doing better I think a lot of what I'm growing this year are uh, tomatoes and peppers um, with a couple of exceptions but those are the uh, two sort of plants that I have tons of varieties on to the point where I hope that I am not overextending our cells we might end up with way too much produce but we can just share it I guess okay so here we have a Hungarian hot wax pepper which I actually want to pinch the top um, yeah this one I feel like it's flowering too soon but maybe I'm just I don't know but yeah this is that and then we have a red tomato cherry that I just put in this grow bag it's kind of establishing okay but not like as good as I was hoping it would I might add another um, a, a couple more French marigolds in here because I only have one little one that's popped at the bottom there uh, this is a, a grow bag with Viking potatoes. I just put them in earlier on today. Um, some edamame and some French marigolds as well. So again, this is the only French marigold that's popped up. The other ones have just not. So that kind of sucks. I might need to add something in there. Um, this is a Rio Grande tomato. This is one of two tomato plants that I started super early and it's doing really, really well. I've got tons of these. I'll show you guys at the window seal. And then these are the two t uh, t uh, potato plants that I started earlier. I started both these at the same time. These are Yukon Gold and this is the Viking potato. The Viking potato, as you can see, is a Viking. It's the one over here. Um, super super aggressive grower I've never I don't know that I've tried those Viking potatoes before but um, if they taste good I'm gonna be just growing Viking potatoes and then this Yukon gold was kind of slow but it's picking up now um, I did have one on this side that didn't or hasn't come up at all and I don't think it's gonna come up and then I do have like a little apple tree that I successfully germinated I have some seeds that I got that all six of them sprouted so I've got a bunch of these little trees I don't know if they're actually ever gonna fruit but of course it's a long game with these things I have some golden beets in here I think I have a couple of red ones too but they're mostly golden because I like the golden ones this was like a random experiment that I'm probably gonna pull out and just stop because uh, these were this was like meant to be a lettuce bowl but I think I ended up putting way too much lettuce um, <laughs> for this to be normal another tomato plant this is the uh, Brad atomic grape tomato it's growing pretty slow in my opinion um, and I'm not sure why that is we have some garlic early California soft neck garlic we have some peas I did the these a while ago I need to figure out a trellising system for them because obviously they're needing some type of uh, support and I don't know for the life of me why I put this thing in there I think I just I don't know I don't know what I was thinking but I wasn't thinking obviously but uh, I also have some rainbow carrots in there they're tiny still uh, some of them are looking okay some aren't and I started some of these sweet peas later so like 
these ones you can tell are tinier and I'm hoping that I'm gonna have like two generations growing in that bag we have some chives over here that are doing okay-ish cut some out uh, this Thai chili pepper is from a store-bought um, like a store-bought pepper that I had and then I just you know cut it so again super slow growing I don't know um, yeah I don't know when this is gonna pick up but not, none of my pepper plants are thriving like crazy they're super slow growing so far this is a mojito mint um, pepper that was a tiny little seed and then now it's it's grown pretty aggressively and <laughs> I don't know I'm gonna have to figure out something to do with mint maybe make mojitos or something like that and then this one is another early this is one of the one of two tomato plants that I was talking about this one is the Rutgers tomato um, also growing pretty aggressively like the Rio Grande and I started both these varieties at the same time indoors and over here I have extras of the Rio Grande and the uh, Rutgers which I'm either gonna sell or gift or something like that I have already gifted a whole bunch but I'm actually thinking I might start selling some plants so uh, I might do that and then over here I have a ton of other varieties of tomatoes I won't go through each of them but um, yeah like just different ones like I have Roma here I have some brandy vine tomato there and I know I've got like tiny ones as well like this is an atomic this is the same as so these two are the same and this seems to be actually growing better like this one that's out of this bag is growing better than this one so that's the good thing of having more than one I guess um, yeah and then this is a tumbling tom I'm gonna put these in a hanging basket later on today and cherry tomatoes anyway so these are all tomato plants as you can tell that I have thriving in here and over here <laughs> more tomato plants I'm not gonna go through I'll do a separate video of like all my tomato plants once they're fully established to see which ones made it but uh, yeah these are all tomatoes these four are tomatoes and these are pepper plants so this is a golden cow uh, pepper I don't know what the full name is actually might just be golden cow oh golden cow wonder sweet pepper so okay this one seems to be having a couple more leaves which is exciting but um, and then over there I have some jalapenos and then in this bowl I've kind of given up on these seeds because kale I hear is not really great for warm weather so in some ways I'm like what's the point of me even trying to sow it when it's not the season for it so both these were kale and I'm just kind of not enthused by it but and then I have some spinach over here that's also kind of like I don't know I'm not motivated by that I don't know what this is oh this is a spinach this is spinach a random stray spinach <laughs> Um, and then this is some leftover peppers um, what is this oh this is the carnival blend I grew these last year and they really produced a lot of peppers um, moving on to here I have two of these uh, curry squash these are the uh, red curry squash peppers I'm really excited most by these to be honest because they just look so pretty and I know melons and squashes kind of have that like big leaf situation but I don't know I just like it and looking forward to growing those these are more Thai chili plants that I have again from the seed a store-bought seed thing that I bought and then I got these from um, 
Lowe's or one of those shops like so this is lavender this is some um, what is this I know this is sage and then this is rose oh no this is thyme no rosemary my bad thyme is skinnier yeah so this is uh, rosemary this is basil and then this is sage which is kind of nice so I got both all of these from the store and then I have this experiment that's been going on for a minute so this is an avocado that I germinated by myself I don't anticipate my avocado tree to actually become a um, a thriving tree but it's kind of just fun to see how far this is gonna go it does have like a, a baby one that I probably should cut out but in some ways I'm like if this one dies then there's that one but I should probably cut that out <sighs> sorry this banging because there's construction in my house um, all these are peppers ancho pepper and then this one is a grape um, grape tree it's like a dwarf thing this is the only one that germinated from the seeds that I had so I'm hoping that actually works out And then I can't go far but these are all the apple seedlings that I have um, of the Barisa Barisa by Baris by a Marisa apple tree so all of these worked out and then over there I just have I don't know random extra tomato and and chilies <sighs> Oh, I forgot to show you guys this. This is my strawberry uh, plant. This is from, again, the same store that I got the seedlings. The, this is from the same place that I got these. So I ended up getting some strawberries as well, just in case mine take forever. Hopefully we'll have something to work with this summer. And yeah, so that is basically all the the things that I have growing right now in the back uh, in the actual yard I do have two containers that have red beets and another one with golden beets both also have onion in them like just a mix of onion and then I also have two other grow bags that have um, garlic and another one that has onion so but I'm not going to show you guys that because it's too much work right now um, essentially I'm hoping to take all my plants out today but I'm still trying to figure out where I want them to be because part of the challenge is like we have a lot of animals <laughs> in our uh, community so uh, we found a deer in our backyard the other day and I keep thinking for sure it's gonna come and have a snack um, and I and I I'm not yet ready to lose all my plants to like animals So I'm thinking I might take out a few at a time Just like I took out the garlic and the and the beets nothing's happened to them yet uh, But I think part of that is because they're still pretty small uh, We have rabbits. We've got deer. We've got squirrels birds so Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. I think this year is mostly gonna be just a learning year for for me when it comes to this so anyway so I'm thinking my uh, container garden I'm probably gonna put it I'm probably gonna put the container garden over there where I've kind of made space but um, but yeah I'm not a hundred percent sure yet like I like this area because the kitchen window is right there so I can see what's going on over there Morgan came up my husband came up with that idea because Obviously, if I put it like the side of the house gets really good light, but um, yeah, I won't be able to see my plants every day. So yeah, and then the other alternative is putting them right into the garden, like putting weed fabric down and then like putting them in the actual garden. But uh, yeah, I can't be bothered right now. <laughs> It's too much labor and maybe when my brother comes to visit we'll we'll do that because ultimately I think I'm gonna put our patio furniture over here um, so this is another almost kind of like failed bad uh, failed seeds these are pitaya or dragon 
uh, what's it called, uh, dragon fruit that finally germinated, took forever. And then also this one, this is the red pitaya, and then this one is the pearl. So um, none of my other ones seem to have worked. Here I took out the grape, which I showed you guys just now, but none of these worked out. So I might try again and maybe uh, stratify the seeds or something like that. Okay, so that is all for my little tour of my little sunroom garden that will hopefully be next time I'm shooting a video hopefully it will be outside um, but yeah thank you so much for watching and I welcome any tips about how I should manage my my garden because this is obviously a very new thing for me to have a real garden that has real elements like birds and deer and things like this so um, yeah so I welcome any feedback and thoughts on stuff like that so far nothing has been eaten but I've also not taken anything out I think today I'm going to take out the potatoes um, and see what happens but anyways thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video please subscribe and share this video and like this video and I'll see you guys in the next one